We are going to be doing a tug of war battle between the Arma Titan, which is an RC car that weighs just over 10 pounds, versus the Arma Kraden 8S. Now this beast weighs three times the amount, it's way bigger, and it weighs just under 40 pounds with the batteries in it. So right off the bat, you might be asking yourselves or might be saying to yourselves, how is a 10 pound car going to even compete with a 40 pound car? And all I'm going to have to say for you is science. So let's start this off by going straight into a head to head battle. So before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys because we have a very unique way of doing tug of war that both cars are going to be going the same direction. So just to show you, the Arma Kraden is tied to a rope that goes through this pulley, which as we know, if you watch some of my other videos, pulleys just redirect force, and it's going to redirect the force all the way to the Arma Titan. So right, right now, there's no mechanical advantage. It's just going to be a heads up battle, and they're going to be both going the same way. So we're going to see who wins, who can get the furthest. All right, guys, let's get right into it. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> three. Two, one, oh. oh <laughs> Alright guys, so as expected, that was total domination. I mean, the Kraden totally annihilated the Typhon. It went so far this way, it actually came up in the air towards this pulley over here. So, we're going to have to use a little bit of science, like I was saying before, but the way we're going to be able to do that is using pulleys, so using an extra pulley. Um, and the way that it works is the more parts of line, the more pulleys that you use, the more mechanical advantage that you're going to give towards the Typhon, the way that we have it rigged up. So we have the main line tied off to the quad here as, as our support, our anchor. It's going to go down through this pulley here, which is going to be attached to this D-ring, back up to the original pulley that we had, and then back all the way down to the Typhon. Uh, and it should give, theoretically, the Typhon a two to one mechanical advantage. So it's gonna be doubling the pulling force that it originally had. So let's see if this works. If not, we have an insane pulley system for you guys. All right, let's get going. In three, two, one, go! Woo! One, go! The mechanical advantage with two pulleys the Typhon still got absolutely destroyed by the 8s Kraden. this truck is just too big and it is way stronger than we originally anticipated so now we have guys I am ex <laughs> I'm, I'm just laughing at the system that we have over here we rigged up something that there's no way the Kraden's gonna be able to beat look at this so let me explain this really quick so we have it anchored at the quad here. If you follow it all the way down, it goes through the first block and tackle back up to here to this pulley right here. Then it goes right back down to the other side of the block and tackle. Then it goes back up to this pulley here. Then this pulley redirects the force all the way back down to this pulley over here. Then it goes all the way back up to this pulley. And finally, its last destination is to this Typhon. I am out of breath after saying that. That is a six to one mechanical advantage, possibly seven depending on how you count the ropes, but this should be an absolutely insane tug of war. Let's go. In three, two, one. One. Well, that was absolutely amazing. So we all knew that right off the bat, the Kraden was gonna smoke the Typhon uh, in a head-to-head -head battle. And even with the two to one mechanical advantage, it really wasn't that fair. But when we put the six or seven, depending on how you count it, to one mechanical advantage with the Typhon, it absolutely 
destroyed the Kraden, which is incredible because if you think about it, this car weighs more than three times or less than three times the weight of that huge Kraden. So we were able to use science, we were able to use those snatch box, the pulleys, in order to make this car win the tug of war battle. And thanks so much guys for checking out the video. And if you enjoyed videos like this, or if you wanna see more videos just like this one, where we, we're gonna be doing RC challenges, RC science battles, and a lot of racing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything else just like this in the future. See you guys in the next one.